talk about what he was exposed when he was young, before he started yani, learning the matters of Aqeedah, and what it took him to purify himself from these matters. Now you will all understand that, Barakallah, we all came from somewhere. Now you were not, Barakallah, fikum, straight up upon Salafiyah day one. Alhamdulillah, illa qalilun minna. Except a very few of us accepted Islam in the Salafi Masjid. That's all they knew. That's all they knew. That's all they knew. Now, the people that came from Ahlul Bid'ah, <laughs> okay, Taban. If somebody is known to be a caller of innovation, he has to clarify himself and clear himself by any mean possible. Whether, when I say by any mean possible, whether it is a refutation that he will refute himself writing it down, or he will give a, uh, what you call, a recorded audio to refute himself of that which he was upon, or any of the ways that he will clarify his new stand that he ought to do. Alhamdulillah, that he ought to do. Now, if he is somebody that is, okay, coming from innovation, there are certain things that are not clear to you, or there are certain things that you're still, you know, fighting against. Alhamdulillah, if in a sense, yes. But to make it a general statement like that, no. Right? Imam, uh, uh, Imam Abu Hassan al-Ash'ari, rahimahullah, right? He has, uh, from the Ash'ari, that he was the, the, the head or the founder or whatnot. But alhamdulillah, when he took the aqidah of Imam Ahmed and those who were the students of Imam Ahmed, that he wrote al-ibana, the two ibana, to clarify his new methodology and to refute what he was upon. True, true, that the scholars did not open that book until after his death, to make sure that he is... Way he died upon that belief system. But to make that general statement like this, alhamdulillah, this is also not something that is permissible. Now, I mean, the other thing is that you are the only one right. You're the only one right. You, you, you don't think that's a problem? If everybody in the masjid is, is wrong, I'm the only one right, always right. Akhi, does it make sense? I mean, honestly. Oh, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Everybody wrong, I'm the only one right. Oh, you can't take from me, you can't take from me. Okay, now, you, disc you are dishing everybody okay now my question is okay now Akhi, I don't speak Arabic I don't have the tools to go to the books okay now what can I do stay home read the books you know one thing Alhamdulillah is there's a, a statement that contradicts that it says <clears throat> Whomsoever, man, man akhada ilmuhu, whomsoever take his knowledge from the books, kana akhta'uhu, his mistakes will be many. Whomsoever, if I take these books, and I say, okay, I'm reading this book by myself, without relating it, because, alhamdulillah, let's say when you have, for instance, Allah said, I'll give you an example, you take, let's say, you read, go home and take Uthul Thalatha, the expansion, and read it on your own. Just go and read it on your own. And get the book and sit in the class with someone, alhamdulillah, perhaps that he had read maybe five explanations. Would it be the same? That's number one. Number two, certain matters you will read it, you won't be understanding it. How many times you and I read something that we understood, we didn't understand properly? That we had to go back to someone, alhamdulillah, whether it is a student knowledge or a scholar, to detail that for us. Or among one of ourselves, is, I heard this, but I didn't understand it well. What, what, what is the proper understanding of this? 
But you take the book, you go home. Okay, the book was being what? Translated. Is it not the same? The book is translated. You're not taking the Arabic book and go home with it because this is something that me and you are lacking. So you mean to tell me, okay, take the English book and go home with it. Guess what? The sheikh did not say it in English. So, so therefore, you find that these are the shubuhat that sometimes we got to be very cautious about. Alhamdulillah, lending our ears to people. Sometimes it is very critical because it can cost you. It can cost you. It can cost you, alhamdulillah. So therefore, what? And, and, and unfortunately, this is something that is experienced. This is seen. Alhamdulillah, individual, barakallahu feekum, lacking a whole lot of things here and there. Mashallah, start coming to the circle. Alhamdulillah, you know, benefiting here and there. But suddenly, oh, okay, this and the third. But you won't be surprised if you know the people. You know the people. May Allah give us a go, all a good end. Wasallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. The statement of Shaykh Muhammad Aman al Jami rahimahullah was, was, was very important. Inshallah, uh, at, the, at the very end of it, inshallah, we'll cover that in, 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 in its totality in, in this point. He, alhamdulillah, even quoting Shaykh uh, Ibn Uthaymin rahimahullah. He's quoting Shaykh Ibn Uthaymin rahimahullah. In this book that I was calling, that we mentioned a few times, the Al-Qawa'id al to show the people that deviated in regard to the names and attributes, how they deviated and why did they deviate it. So that is to show that Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, He has sent messengers that are mubashireen wa mundhireen. Tayyip, li Allah yakuna lin nasi ala Allah hujjatun ba'da rusul that there will be no argument for the people after that Allah Ta'ala has sent the prophets and messengers. And for the simple fact that the prophets and messengers, they did what? They clarify the matters. If anybody, if inshallah we have one to mention one and we all leave inshallah. Yes, Hamukallah. Doubts take doubts remove knowledge. Desires removed actions. Destroy actions. A person must believe in all the prophets. If he disbelieves in one, he is a disbeliever. Every messenger is a prophet, but not every prophet is a messenger. Abu Munira. Right, al bayanu min al rusul is the sunnah. Santa. Rahimahullah. Naam. He said that Shaykh Muhammad Aman has to say that for the people not to say that a prophet was not sent unto us. There is 124,000 prophets. Very good. The Sunnah clarify and detail the Sunnah of the Messenger. Very good, son. Now, this is what we were talking about. You went all the way the opposite of it. Meaning, it is not a prerequisite that you have to have a taskia. It is not a. It is not a requirement that you have to have a. Uh, what you call it? Uh, what you call it? A, uh, a taskia, right? It is not. Yes, we believe in all the prophets and messengers. Now, the, the distinction between the uh, prophets and messengers is uh, by way of virtue. Very good. The distinction between the prophets is only by way of virtue. The distinction yeah. between the prophets and messengers it is only by way of virtue, virtue. not by way of belief. No, there is no distinction in believing in them. The distinction comes only in what? Virtue. Their virtue. Mustafa. Every messenger is a prophet. 
that the belief the belief in the prophets is one of the six pillars of al iman the desire destroys actions destroy actions very good. we got to believe in all the prophets whether allah mentioned them by name or not be aware of who you drink your tea with Right, that we have sent unto you the dhikr to clarify what was sent unto the people. It is a proof that the, wah, the sunnah, wahyu min Allah, is a revelation from Allah. The Prophet والسلام, was sent to all of the mankind. 315 messenger was mentioned in this particular narration of Imam Muhammad in his Musma, in his Musnad from the narration of from the narration of from the narration of Abu Umama Al Bahili Ahsan Ibrahim last but not least. Okay, not me, not me, someone. If someone Yes. If, barakallahu feekum, if someone disbelieves in one of the prophets, he has a nullify of al-Islam. Barakallahu feekum, Ibrahim. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Whomsoever take knowledge from the book only will make a lot of mistakes, as our brother Timbo said. May Allah grant you knowledge. Amen. And allow you to return safely and quickly to your beloved ones. <laughs> Who did it? <laughs>